So next, I just want to do a quick walk walk through um, to just show you how I've been using Taskgate so far. Um, basically, I just created a workspace for the partnership project, uh, and basically, I segmented it by the different uh, departments that we have or teams, so that when I work on something, I can actually go to that particular team if I'm working with the particular team to find that project it'll just make it easier on me to identify um, where to go and so of course lately I've been spending a lot of time in the communication segment um, for my weekly meetings with Alicia I created a weekly team planner and so from here you know I, I used a template originally but I just kind of started to make it my own template and basically, you know, I list out my goals that I have for the week and then each day and I can make this actually look a little cleaner um, than you having to see all the completed projects. There's a couple ways to do that. I can just hide the completed and that basically just cleans it up. So, you know, I set my goals for like the week or so and then I'll basically um, put specific tasks that I want to cover that will help me to meet those goals at the top. Um, I segment them out by day. And so here's what that week looks like so far. Um, and then, you know, when we meet on a weekly basis, I'll just kind of put some of my updates here so that we can be on the same page as far as, okay, what did we accomplish? You know, what issues or setbacks did I have? Questions and things of that nature. Um, so it's really cool to look at it for me in the default view. But as you can see, I can click up here if I wanted to look at it different ways. I can look at it like this as well so it's pretty cool you just you know use a little mouse to go across the scene and I can view it this way from there um, the other views would look like this this is calendar view um, so if I'm putting things or or scheduling things it'll show up on my calendar and I'll just cross it off as I go from there I can look at it in action view so, you know, if I wanted to, I can assign myself to this stuff and, you know, add due dates. Um, Alicia can come in and comment or add reactions and things of that nature. The timer, it kind of really serves as like a Pomodoro type timer. So it's not really, um, I guess, key for me, but, you know, I can hide this column if I wanted to just so, uh, you know, other, other things can show. So I can upload files as well and if I move over that's pretty much the last column and then I said like I said they have the mind map view and the org view so it just really all depends on what you're doing um, as far as how you like to change the view I can add a due date for this entire uh, project I can add tags I can pin and then actually um, you know, I can create new tasks, but they have a lot of different add-ons too. So if I wanted to assign a due date to a specific task, I can assign it to someone, make a comment, upload files, to embed, and um, add reactions. I can do all of that here. And then also click on the three dots. Um, you can change the look of whatever you're trying to type or put on your, your, uh, your project or your list. So you can see, you know, you can add different headings at any point. Um, different bullets, looks, you can, you know, write in paragraph format if you wanted to, numbers and letters. You can shift your items above and below, add notes and highlights. It's really, really um, customizable to what you, you know, would like to do. And you can actually copy a whole project and send it to another project if you wanted to um, and move it, you know, different different places. So it makes it really quick and easy if you need to um, just reorganize anything. Okay. So that's one of my primary tools that I use it for. But, you know, as I continue to work on other projects, I'm starting to create my own trackers where I can track a project to see how it looks as we're moving forward with it. So in this instance, this would be like a website updates tracker where I can see incoming requests that come in and I can move it you know f t from where it needs to be so you know if I'm if I'm still working on this one I can move it and uh, move it back and forth this makes it really easy to do um, you can kind of like 
open and close certain ones as you're building uh, subtasks under your primary tasks. If you don't want to see it all, you can have it do that feature. And yeah, it's like really neat. Like you can add, you know, of course, custom colors and play around with emo emojis. So it has kind of like a gamify type vibe and um, just allows you to be, you know, really creative with it. As far as templates go, these are some of the ones that I've um, either built out myself or um, basically copied from or their templates that they they have. So you can create your own templates that way, but you can also go and find their templates, which I have to see if I can get to it back back to it. Okay, so yeah, if you click on your image and go to templates, here's um, basically their template gallery where you can, you know, search for the type of template you're looking for and just, you know, try to utilize it if you want. They make it really easy. So say, for instance, I'm trying to just get a feel for what their weekly task template is. I can click on preview and then they'll let me see what that looks like down here. And it's really cool because you can you know scroll through it and everything and so this looks like the original one that i started to use but i kind of merged a couple of them um and if you wanted to use the template you can use it or if you wanted to just save it for later you can save it and it'll save under your account and they have various settings in here where you can um you know customize the backdrops of your projects if you wanted to change the backdrop of what it looked like. Um, but right now I just kind of have it where it's like auto changes and it's pretty cool like how you can really jazz it up. So in this case if I wanted to change the look I would go to It's right here, project settings. We'll go to project settings and then you can change the colors and make it a solid color. You can change it to an image and you can even upload your own images and they give you the specs, specs here on how to do that. You can change it where it's the whole background that is showing or just the top or none. And then from there, just click out of it and you know, it just looks a little different. So. Whatever vibe you're going for, it's available in Taskade. And as you can see, you can share it easily with other members. You can share just an individual folder, or you can share a whole project with the individual, or you can share a whole workspace. And you can see the project history of what was done. And if you need it to adjust or go back, you can go to version history. and from there, it will give you a list on this right side of all of the uh, versions that you have available. And if you needed to go back or undo, you would just select that time and go from there. That's another way to show just different options that you have available with this particular project. You can pin it, you can star it, make it you know easier for you to get to it. You can print off documents. You can present it and have a presentation mode. You can open it in a desktop app. And that's just the activity of all of the different projects or workspaces that you are a part of. You can see the activity here. You can mark them all as red, red once you're done. And it just makes it easier for you to go back to different uh, projects and workspaces from there as well. And yeah, you can set your themes and it's just a lot of different things. And if you have any questions, they have a really great help center that will tackle a lot of different things that you might be dealing with, ideas um, that you have or new things that you would like to integrate into your Taskade account. So there you have it. If you have any questions regarding this, feel free to let me know. But hopefully this will inspire you 
to want to uh, try out Task 8 for your own personal, you know, projects within partnership project. And I'm sure you'll get a lot of value out of it just like I have.